sending love, health, happiness, and prosperity to you watching this video. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Aisha, a family nurse practitioner, and today's video is gonna be all about what it takes to become a registered nurse. First, you must have your high school diploma or GED. Second, you must determine which program you're going to do. You can do one of four programs. These are gonna be the most common. The first one is gonna be your ADN or your associate degree of nursing. This program takes between two to three years and it's at a community college or a junior college usually. You can get a BSN or Bachelor of Science in Nursing. This is gonna take four years and it's usually taken at a university. You can get an accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing. This is after you already have a bachelor's degree in something else. These programs are gonna range between 12 and 16 months. This is actually the type of program that I did. I have a Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Studies. I then did an accelerated BSN program. Mine was 12 months. We started in January, finished in December. Really, it was about 10 and a half months if you take into consideration all of the breaks. But my program was 61 credit hours and about 1,100 clinical hours in that short time frame. These programs are very intense. Nursing school in general is intense, but this program is even more intense because, again, it is accelerated. Um, but I'm glad that I did this kind of program. It was the best, one of the best decisions of my life, um, and I'm happy I did it. Another way you can become an RN is if you already have a bachelor's degree in something else and you don't want to get another bachelor's degree, you can get an MSN or a Master of Science in Nursing. And they, these kinds of programs are called direct entry programs. So these programs will grant you your RN and an advanced role, such as a nurse educator, clinical nurse specialist, clinical nurse leader, nurse practitioner. They can, you can get um, other advanced roles, but those are gonna be some of your most common roles. Um, so that is the benefit of doing an MSN direct entry program. All of these different programs are going to be a little bit different in terms of what they require for admission. So you have to do your due diligence and your research to see what are the requirements for your program because each one is going to be a little different. For example, for my program, I had to have my CNA certification, my BLS, a write a resume, and I also had to interview. So again, you're gonna have to do your research and see what um, are the requirements for the program that you're interested in. People ask me all the time, what's a good nursing school? And my answer to that question is, a good nursing school is the one that you get accepted into, right? You wanna get accepted into nursing school, that's the good one, however, you want to make sure that the nursing school you get accepted to is accredited. You want to make sure it's either accredited by the CCNE or the AACN. I will list down below the, the links to those websites. That way you can go and check the school's accreditation status because you don't want to go to a program that's not accredited. If you do, you won't be able to take your NCLEX. So that'll be a big waste of time and money, and no one has time for that. Third, prerequisites. So once you determine what program you're gonna do, you have to see what their prerequisites are. What is a prerequisite? I'm glad you asked. A prerequisite is a course that you must complete before starting the program. All nursing programs are going to have prerequisites. I'm going to talk about some of the most common prerequisites here. You have two types, your science classes and your non-science classes. Your science classes are gonna be classes like anatomy and physiology, one and two, microbiology and chemistry. Some may require pathophysiology as a prerequisite and others may have that incorporated into their nursing program. So these science classes are gonna be worth four credit hours 
which are more than your normal three credit hour class. And these are gonna be very important that you get the highest grade possible. A's, if you can, because they're gonna weigh heavier on your GPA versus a three credit hour course. And the reason why they're worth four credit hours and they weigh heavier is because usually they are accompanied by a lab component. So these classes are challenging. They lay the groundwork for your nursing curriculum. And so you want to be sure you get the highest grade because the higher your, the grades that you get in these classes, the higher your GPA will be. The higher your GPA will be, that will make you a competitive candidate. The second type of prerequisite classes are going to be your non-science classes. These are going to be classes like English, History, Government, and Psychology, to name a few. Fourth, entrance exams. Some programs may require you to do an entrance exam. An entrance exam is something like the ACT or the SAT like you would take for college, except for nursing programs. The entrance exam may be either the HESI or the T's. For my program, I had to take the T's. And if there is a requirement for one of these exams, you can purchase a review book that goes over what you need to know to be successful on this exam. However, you again have to do your research and your due diligence because I recently looked over the requirements for the program that I completed and this test is no longer required. So once you have done all your research, take decided what program you want to go to, taken your prerequisite classes, done well in those, you have to apply to the nursing program, get accepted, complete nursing school, all of those tests, graduate from nursing school, you will then be able to sit for the NCLEX. That's right, you probably hear about people always talking about the NCLEX. What's the NCLEX? I'm glad you asked. The NCLEX is the licensure exam. This is the exam that's gonna grant you the RN. So just because someone went to nursing school and graduated, that doesn't make them an RN. What makes them an RN is passing this licensure exam. So all of your studying really comes down to this one test. So the NCLEX, once you pass that, you will have your license to practice as a registered nurse and then you will be certified. Nursing school is uncomfortable. You're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone. You can do this. I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself that you can become the RN you can become their registered nurse. Believe in yourself, put in the work. You are going to have to work for this, but it will change your life. Put in the work, the results will follow. Speak things into existence. Write down some positive affirmations. I'm gonna post a picture here of some of the affirmations that I would speak when I was going through my nurse practitioner program. These are going to just get your mind ready and prepare your mind for greatness and for success. So when you get your affirmations, write them down, look yourself in the mirror and say them every day. You're going to start doing things that will prepare you for success. Are the steps to become an RN. Graduate from high school or get your GED. Determine what program you're gonna do look at their prereqs, see if they require an entrance exam, take all of your prereqs, um, apply for the program, graduate, and then sit and pass the NCLEX, okay? I hope this video helped you all. Um, leave a comment down below on some other videos you all want to see me make and be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, talk to you later.